Hello everyone, um, I'm in front of the Macomb School of Business here in, uh, at UT Austin. The, in Austin, it's all about UT, so I chose this great university. Uh, what I want to do is, as I mentioned in my blog post, uh, I'm coming from a family of teachers. My father, my uncle, my grandparents, they're all teach, either teachers or professors. I don't get to be a teacher, but it's one of my dreams to give a lecture to students. So I feel, I'm not sure I'm qualified in a lot of things, but a couple of things uh, I'm pretty good at. One is entrepreneurship, another is rejection. <laughs> I feel I'm an expert in rejection now. So what I want to do today is I will walk into their um, office, either the office where I might find a professor, um, and I want to say, I want to ask them if I can give a lecture um, to students. So, uh, and here I have prepared for it, um, and I spent yesterday doing it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, um, it's, pretty, it's going to be a decent lecture, I feel, and, and uh, I'll keep making this better. But um, if they reject this, it's going to hurt a little bit. So uh, all the work and hope and aspiration. But we'll see what happens. Follow me. Actually, and it's in this building over here. This is like when you go out these doors to right. the left, and uh -huh. you see the dean's office. Right. Away, and then you're going to okay. go straight past the escalator, uh -huh. past the double glass door, uh -huh. and it's on the other side. OK. All right. Thank you. End of the hall. Go past exit and go to the left. Okay. Uh huh. As soon as you get off the escalator, go straight ahead till you have to turn. Turn right till you have to turn. Uh huh. Turn left and it's directly. Uh -huh. If you go down, they're going to be on. Um, if you go down on the other side of the building, there's a not as you go around the corner. There's a set of escalators, but Correct. if you go past that, uh -huh. there's another set of escalators. Go down to the third floor. So do you think I can give a talk to students about rejection? That you would have to talk to each professor about. Most of them already had their syllabus pretty much written out for the okay. semester. Which, student, which professor would you think would be most open to this? I really feel that the students would benefit a lot from my experience. I don't know. What you can do is send me an email and then I can forward that email to the entrepreneurship faculty and see if anybody's interested. Okay. Uh, um, but that's about all I could offer. All right. Um, so after bouncing around in the, in the building and uh, without getting anywhere, I decided to uh, give the communication school a try. You know, sometimes it's not about your, what you do. Sometimes it's about your timing and who you know, who you have access to. Obviously, it was pretty difficult uh, at, at the business school. But let's try my luck at the communication school. Follow me. Blocker. So here's a, I'm an I'm entrepreneur. I own a local startup company. It's called Hoopla. So you can check it online. Um, I found you because you're the you know you're the director of debate. What I'm doing is I blog online, and uh, I have been going through what's called rejection therapy, meaning I actively go out and look for rejections. And I've in the past thirty days, I've seen more rejections than I could handle, and uh, and it's a really fascinating experience now. So I'm wondering, like I have made a talk uh, yesterday, um, just a couple of days ago. I've been working on this talk. Do you think you would welcome me to give a talk to your students um, in the near future about how about rejection and how to handle rejection? Well, I don't know if this would be helpful to my debate class, but it might be helpful to my social change class. So, okay. Social change is a lot about getting rejected. Yeah, because movement, people in movements and things like that get rejected a lot when they're trying to start things. Okay. Are you open to the idea for me to... Sure, I'm open to the idea. But okay. I don't know when I'd fit you in. How long is this talk? Um, really, it's like 30 to 45 minutes, or however you want it to, how, how it would fit you. Like, if this fits your topic, I can... Do it at the beginning of the class. I have to look session. at my syllabus because I haven't finished it for next semester yet. Uh -huh. I have to look at my syllabus uh, to see when I could fit you in. I'm open to fitting you in, but I would need to see when that's going to fit best. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. That's that's really good. That's <laughs> more than uh, more than I would ask for. In, in, just just a little bit of background. Um, my grandfather was a pro college professor. My uh, my grandma is a teacher. My dad is a teacher, and my uncle is a dean uh, of a college. So I'm from a uh, family of teachers. 
Okay. It's, it was one of my dream to give a lecture as well. So, but I, I, but I'm not just seeing, doing this for sake of doing this because I do feel I have a lot to offer with this uh, topic of rejection. Well, I, uh, I was maybe. <laughs> It was not a, a rejection. It was not. Uh, it was close to an acceptance. Uh, he's op very open to my ideas, and I, I, I hope it happens. So if this is it's a failure, uh, it's a very sweet failure because it's kind of a uh, something I, I, I aspire to do to uh, to teach something. Okay, um, this concludes a, another rejection therapy, and uh, this is an audacious reje rejection. Or acceptance. It depends on how it goes, and uh, I'll follow up, and I'll let you know how it goes. So for now, it is a failure. Okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.